CCTV Spider-Man Noir. Minggu lepas, kita dapat pandang pertama pelakon Nicolas Cage di set penggambaran siri Spider-Man Noir versi live action oleh studio Amazon MGM. Sinopsis dia adalah A story of an aging and down on his luck private investigator in 1930s New York who is forced to grapple with his past life as the city's one and only superhero. Apakah pendapat anda tentang Nicolas Cage menjadi bintang utama untuk menjayakan watak Spider-Man Noir di Amazon Prime Video nanti? Kalau Pak Cik ada atuk lah, boleh ke atuk ni dia ambil swinging kan? Hmm, by right memang dah tak boleh lah dengan gambar Papa Razi tu. Tunjukkan ke Nicolas Cage banyak on screen bila dia investigate tau. Sebab kan dia Noah, dia macam detektifnya storyline lah. That part kau rasa muka dia. So bila dia jadi Spider-Man tu, bila he put on the mask, the mask tu, memang double lah memang akan jadi action starman lah akan take over. So bagi aku tak ada masalah lah. Bila buat series ni, aku rasa budget untuk action akan lebih limited lah. Dia akan akan fokus kat storyline. Cuma kerisauan dia adalah Adakah Spider-Man Noir ni akan dapat menarik minat fan Spider-Man yang lain? Ah, banyak lagi Spider-Man yang lain. Cuma ni jadi lagi popular bila diorang introduce kat dalam Spider-Verse. So memang kita tengok lah macam mana. Hopefully diorang punya storyline best lah. Ya, yeah, aku mengharap it will be a new beginning untuk Spider-Verse lah. Uh, live action. Masa kita dah tengok dalam animasi kita dah minat. So sekarang kita nak tengok diorang jam itu live action. So aku harap ni berjaya. Lepas ni kita boleh dapat Spider-Man 2099. Lepas ni kita boleh dapat Miles Morales. Kita boleh dapat, uh, you know, Spider-Woman, Spider-Gwen, semualah aku nak semua jadi live action tu. Kalau kau tengok dalam overlay ni dekat bawah tu ada surat khabar Daily Bugle mengatakan Silverman survives in Skivis. Dan sebelah kiri dan kanan tu adalah art daripada 1990-an menunjukkan penampilan pertama Cyborg bernama Silverman. So, apakah pendapat anda tentang Silvio Manfredi aka Silverman yang mungkin dilakonkan oleh Brandon Gleeson Uh, bakal menjadi antagonis utama di dalam siri Spider-Man Noir versi live action nanti. Aku rasa maybe korang kena manage your expectations sebelum tengok TV series ni pasal walaupun dia ada one of the Spider-Man in this TV series which is Spider-Man Noir it's probably not gonna be as fantastical as the other spider animated stuff and movies yang korang pernah tengok lah. Jangan sebab ada Spider-Man dah ni, korang ingat cerita ni macam, you know, a typical Spider-Man will show because it's not going to be it on beberapa reasons. Number one, aku tak faham lah kenapa dengan Hollywood punya perangai yang dia just, bila kau adapt komik, dia tak suka betul premise dia. Dia mesti nak F up the premise or buang the best parts of the premise tau. Sebab kalau kau dengar macam mana Nick describe tadi, this is not just spider noir as we know it. This is spider noir yang dah, oh aku dah bertahun-tahun dah tak jadi spider noir and aku kena, oh oh my god, uh, ni lah punya fallout setelah dulu-dulu jadi spider noir. Macam why, why do you have to keep doing this shit tau? Just tunjuk dia in dia punya you know good old glory days doing the shit that he is famous for doing lah so ada isi tu aku dah tahu lah dia akan justify oh this is why this is an you know a spider noir yang dah older tak ada dah terbang-terbang web swinging they just pakai the suit je tactical untuk pergi siasat and also tak ada tak ada all the spider man things in the spider man series i have a feeling there's definitely gonna be it tau yang tu satu Lepas tu, bila aku tengok lah yang orang spekulasi Silverman could be the villain of the series ni benda ni lagi lah menguatkan pendapat aku sebab uh, number one, he's not that big a deal aku agak kecewa pasal kalau kau macam mana Spider Noir ni in a way dia macam Marvel punya Elseworlds jugalah sebab dia dalam dalam dunia Spider Noir you still have Kraven, you still have Sandman, you still have Goblin tapi mereka the gangster iterations of those characters so, macam mana dia redesign and repurpose balik backstory dia as mobsters tapi all these iconic characters lah so instead of showing us what a mob boss Craven would look like what a mob boss Goblin would look like kita pergi ah, dengan ah. Silverman who is actually already a mob boss tapi memang tak pernah ada in the spider noir storyline as far yang aku dah pernah baca lah if this is truly the direction then macam dia ada sikit kemalasan di situ lazy writing instead of taking you know goblin craven 
so shocker semua ni tapi macam mana dia orang macam as a mob boss kau ambil an actual mob boss dalam Marvel yang tak ada kaitan dengan Spider Noir pun so it's macam senang kerja uh, so it's a bit of a let down lah tapi kalau aku nak bersangka baik or kita try selam lagi what are the reasonings kenapa dia pilih Silver Man ni eh? sebab macam Nick tunjuk tadi yang tu Silver Man with the cybernetic body lah which aku rasa is the current or most famous um, iteration of the character Silver Man ni eh? tapi sebelum dia jadi this cybernetic Silver Man he was a mob boss first appearance here into the Marvel New Comics so he would perfectly fit into the 30s setting mob fighting story of Spider Noir and dia aku rasa dia akan ada powers juga to fight Spider Noir but it's not gonna be the cyborg new iteration tau. sebab between Silver Man the mob boss and Silver Man the cyborg ni dia di tengah-tengah tu dia tunjuk pasal Silver Man ni he is obsessed with eternal life tau kalau kau nak tahu orang panggil dia Silver Man sebab dia macam macam aku lah ada rambut putih eh. ha, so dia dari dulu dia ada this white hair orang panggil dia Silver Man and dia actually sangat insecure pasal benda tu yang orang duk panggil lah pasal tu so, dia rasa macam dia makin tua his end is near dia tak puas hati lagi you know jadi mock boy so what does he do they actually search around the Marvel Universe and they, they discover one of the many lah mystic artifacts yang berterabur keliling dunia Marvel eh. They discover actually one tablet yang boleh bagi dia eternal life. So sebelum dia jadi the cyborg silver man, he, he was the silver man yang use this mystic tablet thing ni untuk jadi undying. So why that is relevant origins power dia sebab then that origins is sangat berkait dengan how spider noir got his powers which is daripada an ancient spider artifact yang magically imbue him dengan the spider powers so what you have in silver man is that dia watak yang 30 mobster setting which is memang kena dengan uh, spider noir and power base dia pun was in this mob boss punya setting tapi power base dia mystical from a mystical artifact also like Spider Noir so aku rasa what they're gonna do is gonna share the origin of maybe Silver Man ni tengah transport some stolen goods daripada museum ke apa benda ke and then you know Nicholas Cage the det- detective datang nak stop the operations dia orang akan clash and then one of the artifacts tu pecah and then keluar spiders macam dalam komik from the artifact gigit uh, Nicholas Cage giving him the spider noir powers tapi bila gigit Silver Man bagi dia the eternal life punya power so aku rasa that's that's why that's why they choose Silver Man so the only two reasons aku nampak how Silver Man despite not being in the comics boleh fit into a spider noir story is the Tease Mobster punya character and ancient artifact based powers Uh, so Menarik. tu speculation aku lah uh, But it's I a record lah that. It's not in the comic lah It, It's, it's a record lah uh, It's a record uh, tapi okay lah it's, it's rooted in in the elements yang memang ada in the comic lah So aku macam boleh nampak how they get there But kalau aku punya preference is that Kenapa aku tak ikut je and we could have seen the Bayangkan the mobster version of Goblin, Shocker, Sandman And you know those guys kan, so itulah sayang lah. Tapi well, we'll see how it goes. There's a chance it could be good sebab I was wrong about Penguin. I thought, ah, mobster-mobster bullshit. Aku dah tak suka benda-benda ni kan. Aku macam best gila. So if you could sampai to that level, fine. With your own retelling, with this more grounded punya uh, iteration of Spider-Man. Tapi sampai level Penguin, why not? So, dengan itu, kita akan bacakan beberapa soalan yang berkaitan dengan segmen ini. Nameless bertanya. Adakah siri ni akan jadi hitam putih macam komik Spider Noir? Ah yang tu kita tak sure lagi pasal semua set foto ni adalah daripada uh, you know netizen netizen yang pergi dekat set. Dia orang ambil gambar so memanglah dunia ni bukan hitam putih. But maybe if they have the box. Maybe dia tengah filemkan tu kalau dia orang buat siri ni hitam putih hmm. pada aku memang awesome ah. Barulah if they have the box so film Noir. Yeah. If they have the box they'll do that. Do this Amazon yeah. Seterusnya, kita ada soalan daripada Encik Maggie. Apakah power set Spider-Noir dalam komik ya? 
dia macam anything hmm. yang Spider-Man can do lah. Cuma aku rasa with a little change in detail yang punya webbing tu black. Oh. So, uh, just that cool punya cosmetics lah. Lain sikit lah. And masa dia first kena gigit tu pun, dia macam relax macam Peter Parker kena gigit, pengsan, uh, terbangun, wah oh, dah jadi macam ni ya. Lah. Tapi <laughs> spider noir kena gigit, dia sedar-sedar dia dalam a black web cocoon. Oh, dia kena keluar from the web cocoon. So, dia macam, dia macam Spider-Man tapi dia more mystical, almost, almost macam supernatural kind of Spider-Man sikit macam tu lah. But for the most part, yeah, power set saya sama lah. Hmm. Here's the cool thing about Spider-Noir ni apa tau. Um, yeah, dia ada that uh, Spidey Swang, panjat dinding, uh, black webs, um, semua sama dengan Spidey. But this is also, you know, an asshole in a mobster setting. So, it's going to F you up with a Tommy gun juga. Oh, tak ada masalah. <laughs> dia pun pakai pistol. Yes. Ah, uh, So, itulah beza dia sikit. Jadi, adakah kita akan mendapat Sinister Six versi Italian mob boss? Ini yang aku nak sebab the fun thing about Elseworlds is that kau put a spin and redesign untuk watak-watak yang dah establish. It's an exercise in creativity. So it's very fun to see. Tak tahu aku kecewa kenapa dia ambil Silver Man. So instead of redesign Goblin jadi mobster, dia ambil mobster yang tak lawan pun dengan Spider Noir letak dalam ni. Adakah siri ini satu foreshadowing ataupun marketing bahawa akan ada karakter melangkaui dari dunia animasi ke dunia sebenar? Well, uh, title filem Spider-Verse ketiga pun dah cakap Beyond the Spider-Verse. Jadi Beyond animasi Yelah apa lagi? Siri TV, filem, live action. So, uh, memang kita boleh expect lah. Lepas Beyond the Spider-Verse ni, maybe dia orang akan umumkan filem-filem live action untuk Mas Morales, Jessica Drew, Spider-Man 2099 dan juga ramai lagi. Sekiranya anda enjoy menonton video ini, jangan lupa untuk like, share dan subscribe kepada Buzzpop TV. Untuk lebih banyak video-video yang berkaitan dengan pop culture daripada komik, TV, filem, mainan dan juga banyak lagi. Majulah fandom untuk negara.